This video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hey guys, this is Ebbets Aquarium. As we advance through time, technology walks along with us and often at an even faster pace, which means that today you no longer need to have a fancy digital camera unless you're a blogger or a YouTuber, of course. Most premium segment mobile phone manufacturers offer high resolution cameras that will let you capture some impressive and vivid images. In this video I'm about to show you some of the photographic differences that can be seen with the naked eye between photos produced and rendered by these three iPhones in a Plus variant, a 6s, a 7 and an 8. In a normal daylight setting you will see little difference when it comes to colors overall, but the 7 Plus seems to produce the brightest image of all three with the 8 Plus having the most depth. And of course the second camera module in a portrait mode will add the blur to most elements in the back of the flower. And this photo lineup is to demonstrate that both the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus capture pictures brighter than the 6S Plus. In this setting an 8 Plus produced a more vivid image and a better portrait backline blur than a 7 Plus which is also by the way non-existent on a 6S Plus. This kid did a great job posing while the 6S Plus is lacking a portrait mode. This photo lineup is to demonstrate the portrait feature that both the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus bring and the 6S is lacking. Fortunately the 6S Plus brings a high level of detail but unfortunately the blur that happens in the background is just a lack of focus. On the other hand both the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus bring an amazing portrait quality. It almost appears that an 8 Plus outperformed a 7 Plus but it is an illusion and they really perform equally well. And now my favorite. The low light setting. You may recall older mobile devices with low resolution cameras and poor flash solutions. It is hardly ever the case nowadays. All three perform equally well except that the 6S Plus does show slight pixelation and a lack of detail in a low light setting. This happens as a result of the lower resolution but we can still easily distinguish the same lines in this darker setup. Personally I would choose an 8 Plus based on this as the color processing is slightly better but definitely not worth your money if you already have a 7 Plus. And when it comes to slow-mo, all three perform quite well, but the 6S Plus has fewer details and more blur. It is that lower few year old resolution getting to it. It can be hard to control the light settings across all three also, and hence the brightness difference that you see on your screens. 8 Plus has certainly demonstrated the greatest level of detail as expected. Alright guys, please tell me in your comments down below what phone you prefer when you consider photographic quality and also the price point. Give a like if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe for more content. I wanted to tell you about sellcashier.com. So you just got your new iPhone. What will you do with your old one? You may be thinking of selling it on eBay, Craigslist and so on and it is definitely a hassle. Now you don't have to do that. Now you can sell it through sellcashier.com. They compare the actual prices of iPhones and give you the best price for your iPhone that you are trying to sell. And the good thing is, is that you are guaranteed the best rate. You also get a free shipping label. Thank you for watching and please check out sellcashier.com.